Oh, we are back with our series Sleep On It today. Summer's going to be here before you know it, folks, and the warmer weather and daylight can really mess with our sleep. But there are some strategies to get those ease, and Dr. Michael Bruce, clinical psychologist, is here this morning to share those strategies. Dr. Bruce is also the author of the book, Energize. Always good when you stop by. Thanks yes, for having me. I'm always absolutely. happy to be here. Good morning. So what are some of the, the, the bigger things that can really mess with our sleep during the summer? So summertime presents unique obstacles that we don't have the tendency to see during other seasons. And they come in three basic categories. Okay. One is light, the other is heat, and the other is social. Right, so the days are longer, which means we have more light exposure. Oh. And people don't realize this, but light limits melatonin production. Remember, melatonin is that key that starts the engine for sleep. Hmm. Heat, also the same thing. Sleep follows the core body temperature cycle. So if your body can't cool, you can't fall asleep. Mm. And then socially, we see a lot of people are out and about for the sure. summer, being active, um, but sometimes maybe a little too active or maybe being a little too social, as yep. they yep. say, oh, towards yeah. the end of the evening, and that can have an effect as well. Especially in our shift. We have FOMO. We see everybody out and <laughs> yeah. about. Uh, let's tackle those issues. All right, let's start with light. How do you keep it from ruining your sleep? So the way I like to think about it is, number one, limit the amount of light exposure that you have at, across the day, but you want most of your light in the earlier part of the day. Mm -hmm. When the sun goes goes down, do yourself a favor, hit the dimmer switch in your house oh. and start to really relax and kind of create that vibe. Do you like the, the curtains that close, like the blackout so curtains? So I love blackout curtains. It's definitely one of my favorites. I will tell you this, for whatever reason, when I have blackout curtains, it's hard to wake up because it's so, uh, so dark, dark in the morning. It's yeah. cozy. So I also like an eye mask, so if blackout curtains aren't your thing, an eye mask is certainly something that you, you can definitely do. Um, also, there's an interesting thing that I came across from a skincare perspective. That's so cool. a lot of people who wear makeup or do a skincare routine, they do it right before bed in this tremendously brightly lit mirror. Mm, right? What is that doing? You are basically telling your brain it's morning time mm. and it's not going to be producing that melatonin. Do me a favor, right after dinner, like around 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock, then do your skincare routine. Give yourself some time so that way you don't get that tremendous light exposure. Oh, right oh that's very bed. interesting. That is interesting. Smart. Uh -huh. um, okay, heat. So a lot of partners fight over how cool <laughs> it is in the room. I think a lot of us go through yeah. that. But you say there's also a psychological reason. Absolutely. So first of all, there's a lot of different things going on from a heat perspective, right? So our body has got to be able to cool down in order for, again, our brain to produce melatonin. Remember, melatonin is kind of the central figure in most of the beginning part of sleep. A few things we want to do is we want to avoid exercise right before bed, mm -hmm. maybe within two or three hours. Okay. I love exercise because, remember, exercise is the one thing that will improve your sleep quality hmm. better than just about anything else. Um, also, um, this is kind of a unique trick that I have. Oh, keep the bedroom 68 to probably about well, 65 to 68 degrees. I hope my wife is listening. I was just going to say. <laughs> 65, Eric, 65 to 68. To 68. What does she want, it warmer? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And here's, here's my favorite, favorite trick is I take a water bottle, I stick it in the freezer, right, just a regular old water bottle, and I put it in a tube sock, like an athletic sock. Mm -hmm. And then if you're cold, you put it on the outside of one or both hips. It doesn't bother your bed partner. You stay nice and cool. It's like your own little refrigeration unit Whoa. that's there you going go. on there. If you sleep hot, as they say. Right. That's It's a, it's a great thing to have. Also, right. believe it or not, they have these things now called cooling sheets yeah. and cooling mattresses. Um, so there's a lot of different technology that's okay. out there. Um, I've tried quite a few of them. If people want to check them out, I've got actually um, some more information for them on my website, thesleepdoctor.com. Okay. But there's lots of cool tech out there. Yeah, they have eucalyptus there. in them. You, you also again? They have eucalyptus in them. So some cooling. of the sheets absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely do, yeah. And bamboo is another uh, feature cool. that seems to really dissipate heat hmm. quite a bit. You also maintain that the, what you wear and what you sleep on can, can make a huge difference. Absolutely. So in the nude or in pajamas, that's always one of the biggest questions that I get asked. And for people who have trouble regulating their, their body temperature, I don't have a problem with you sleeping with no clothes on. It oh. can actually be quite <laughs> beneficial. Oh. Now, for some people, though, sleeping with no clothes on, you're freezing cold, right? Well, that and you're just so exposed. So sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes that's not necessarily where you kind of want to be. So what I tell people all the time is if you get really, really hot, if you're not comfortable sleeping uh, without any clothing on, put socks on. So, uh, so okay. all, I'm sorry, totally <laughs> naked? Nude and socks. Right. If but you're just socks. socks, it'll actually keep you warm, or the opposite. That is, that's if you look. wear pajamas, don't wear <laughs> socks because heat dissipates through your feet. You ever get hot in the middle of the night and you stick your foot out from yes. under yeah, the covers, absolutely. and all of a sudden you cool down? That's because there's no heat, uh, no rather hair on the bottom of your feet. 
So again, your feet are very good at being able to, if you've got socks, you're going to stay yeah. warm. If you want to get cool, pull off the socks. Dr. Bruce, we just learned a lot. Yes. I mean, did. perhaps too much. <laughs> yeah, no, I, the, door, the locks on my doors never work. My kids would be like, mommy! <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.